Well, right now, hundreds of bird species are migrating to Minnesota for the warmer months. But their trip here can be a dangerous one in part because of light pollution in the Twin Cities. So how do city lights impact migratory birds? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell found out how dimming our lights can help them along their journey. Hearing a lot of cardinals in my yard, robins, uh, the sparrows are out. It's the sound of spring. When you see a robin, it's spring. But for many migratory birds, the journey to get here isn't smooth sailing. A 2019 study ranked Minneapolis <laughs> the sixth most dangerous U.S. city for migratory birds because of light pollution. I'd love to look downtown and see the lights, especially from my bedroom. Yeah. Birds are drawn to city lights, too. It can even throw them off their migratory path that's guided by the stars and moon in the night sky. The lights that come out of our buildings trigger something in their brain that, that draws them in. So they'll fly in toward those buildings or circle around them, and in some cases they'll collide with those buildings. Audubon Conservation Director Dale Gentry says hundreds of millions of birds die each year from collisions, confusion, and exhaustion. Really? I wasn't aware of that. Do colors impact migratory birds, or is it just the intensity of the artificial light? I don't think color matters as much as intensity of light, and so that's why we encourage people to turn off those unnecessary lights. The Audubon started Lights Out in 2007, encouraging buildings to participate during the two months of spring and fall migration. And just turn off unnecessary lights. You don't have to turn off all of them. We want people to feel safe. But if you have lights that are on for no reason, turn those off and you can make a good impact on migratory birds. For that, I, I guess you can turn the lights down. <laughs> right. So it's not flying the walls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. The Wells Fargo Center in downtown Minneapolis was the first to sign on to Lights Out in Minnesota. More than 80 buildings have joined since. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Is there anything we can do in our own neighborhoods to help this? Absolutely, yeah. The skyscrapers get a lot of the attention, but even just our in our neighborhoods, by turning off unnecessary lights, we're decreasing the amount of ambient light that's coming out of our, our urban and suburban environments. I love the bird sounds. I'm hearing less than I did, say, 15 years ago, and I know there are fewer birds flying through, so anything we can do to help support that population, I think we should go for it. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. The spring migration season typically ends at the end of this month.